Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, I'm going to quickly go over my um, American Tank Ace career log sheet with macros that I've made off to help keep track of your crew and your um, tank as you go through the campaign. Um, enter your crew here in the start line and the status FFD for fit for duty, light wound, LW, SW for serious wound. KIA for KIA, and just track that all the way down through here via dragging and dropping. Um, and uh, you just draw them down to your next. So if I put myself in here, and if I could spell, that would be amazing. And so I would be fit for duty with no missions on the start. And um, then we'll draw, the, draw me down for mission number one. I would show up as fit for duty there. One mission under my belt once we're done. Um, you can actually pull that in. I've debated whether I want to continue to use that as um, current mission or uh, uh, right now, I, I, it's showing as your current mission. You're on current mission one. This still shows as zero mission. So I'm thinking I'm going to leave that the way it is. Anyway, um, so as you go down through, when you go through boot camp, you're just going to go ahead and click on whatever box, and you're only going to click it once. Does the math and everything offline. And then whatever one you chose, you're going to get. Um, actually, if it's... Uh, these two, I don't think there's anything they do do. This one here will give you the, um, the extra prestige. And then, of course, the fight wins going to give you an extra one. Commander, KIA, we're going to get rid of everything. Those just uncheck. I didn't do those automatically because they still work under my old style of doing things. Because there's no need to change them. Um, if you buy a, or actually when you're going through training, you're going to hit training complete, which will get you an XP. Uh, weapons maintenance, if you've, if you've earned that, or gunnery or rifle terrain to minus one, you're just going to click on that once. And that's going to go ahead and put the minus one into effect if they buy the weapons maintenance. So if my loader buys weapon maintenance, that's going to charge you zero experience. Whereas if the gunner gets weapons maintenance and he has not scored the uh, minus one uh, tag, it's going to cost you one experience. Um, and as they pass away, you're going to go ahead and hit this, and that's going to go ahead and clear them out. And uh, that way, it tracks, it'll keep track of the experience that you've spent already um, as you're replacing crew going through. Uh, awards and everything, uh, that's, that's the same for all these. If you Get a minus one, you're going to click that, click it only once. If they pass away, that's going to disappear, and you've got to start all over again. Um, down here is your trophies. You're just going to click on it to get the trade balance you've earned, and you're going to spend them. You're just going to go over here and click the trade balance that you've um, used, and that'll be tabulated up here underneath that. I, everything up there now instead of down here. I suppose I could put it down here just to... Make things simple in case anybody's looking at it. Um, again, your names will show up here. The awards, I think I've got them all squared away now. Double check them as you go through because I'm not perfect. Um, they will tabulate as you click off your kills and your failures and successes. Uh, promotions, if you promote, you'll click the box down here. That will automatically update your rank, which will automatically update it with your with your name. You will need to manually put in the tanks as you upgrade through them. And uh, click on the uh, prestige use as to whether you upgrade it after a knockout or being not knocked out. Uh, basically, that's it. Uh, kind of just help guide things through. Uh, thanks, everybody, for joining me. That's an American Tank Ace career log sheet with macros. See you next time. Have a great day.